Okay, so if you understand algebra pretty well, well, then this should be a very easy quiz for you to pass. Matter of fact, this is only a two-question quiz. It's worth five points, and let's see if you can pass this thing. But first, let me show you the questions. So the first question is the following. The slope is equal to the rise over the blank. The second question is name the four types of four types of slope a linear equation can have. All right, so the first question is worth uh, one point. The second question is worth four points. Now, if you have the answers, put those into the comments section. I'm gonna go through uh, each of these questions, and of course, you can get your score by the end of this video. All right, but uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's go to take a look at the quiz uh, one more time, the questions. So the slope is equal to the rise over the blank. And the second question is, name the four types of slope a linear equation can have. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it right now. And of course, you can get your score. So the first question is what? Well, here it is again. The slope is equal to the rise over the run. All right, so the rise over the run, that is the slope. Uh, or that's basically one way to define the slope. Now, if you didn't get this right, or if you are confused, well, you definitely need to review uh, this concept of slope. This is tremendously important when we're talking about graphing lines or finding the equations of, or finding linear equations. So when you have a line like y equals mx plus b, the m right here is the slope. And again, it's defined as the rise over the run of a line. Now, there is an actual formula to it. I'm not going to get into it uh, in this particular video because this is a simple quiz, but use this quiz as feedback, right? So if you're a little bit confused here, well, you need to review the slope. Now, before we get into the second question here, uh, what we're talking about is basic algebra. So if you need help with algebra, check out my full main um, algebra course. I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video so you can uh, you know, uh, review any of these topics that you struggle with. Also, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out. All right, so if you got this right, well, that is plus one. All right, so let's move on to the second question. So the second question is, name the four types of slope a linear equation can have. All right, so here, you're going to get uh, one point for each uh, correct response. Again, we're looking for four types. So let's get into the answer for this question. But before we do this, I need you to quickly hit that subscribe button. I definitely need your help to continue to grow my YouTube channel and help uh, people worldwide in mathematics, as that's really what I'm all about. I love teaching math. But uh, it does me no good to teach math unless I have students. And the best way to support this channel is to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this second question. Now, the best way to answer this question is I'm going to draw myself or just sketch it out real quick. Not a perfect uh, sketch here, but let's look at an X, Y uh, plane. All right, so we have the X axis and the Y axis, and we're talking about linear equations like y equals mx plus b. Now, when you first start to learn how to graph linear equations, typically you learn how to graph uh, one variable linear equations. For example, like x is equal to 7 or y is equal to 6. Now, these are things that you hopefully you know how to uh, graph. And again, if you don't know how to graph or if you're a little bit confused, well, use this uh, a quiz as feedback on improving this particular topic that uh, we're talking about is graphing linear equations and it's kind of coupled with the slope all right but we can also have equations that uh, have two variables in it something like y is equal to one half x minus three so these are all examples of linear equations all right so let's go ahead and uh, get into the answer here so the first type of slope uh, would be a positive slope, right? So lines that run from left to right or increase from left to right like this have a positive slope, right? So that is number one. 
the second type of slope. And you might be saying, is it negative, uh, Mr. U2 Math Man? And I would say, indeed it is. So lines that decrease from left to right have a negative slope. All right, now, uh, the next type of slope is lines that are completely horizontal like this, and these lines have a slope of zero. All right, so we have three of the four types. The last type is this type right here, and this is a vertical line, okay, which would be what type of line? Is x equals 7 or y equals 6 a vertical line? Hopefully, uh, this kind of little additional bonus question here. So you would get a plus 1 on top of your score. So which one, uh, x, x is equal to 7 or y is equal to 6, is a vertical line? Well, it's the x equals 7, right? This would be an example of a vertical line. But here, the slope is undefined, all right? So vertical lines have undefined slope. So maybe that's not a type of slope, but the slope is undefined. All right, so again, four uh, parts to this little uh, question here. So if you got four out of four, actually uh, five out of five, well, that is fantastic. Let's go ahead and just give you your score right now. Five out of five, you're definitely on the right track to get an A plus in algebra. Now, if you got a uh, four out of five or three out of five, you know, use uh, this, uh, you know, uh, quiz as feedback, right? That's just the whole point of, uh, you know, taking tests and quizzes is to see what you know and don't know. Now, I'm going to be doing uh, much more of these kind of quiz and test questions because it's an excellent way to check for your understanding because, you know, maybe you could just see, you know, a basic problem like graph this equation. And a lot of people, you know, this is the typical type of problems you might see like uh, on a homework assignment. But uh, these type of questions I'm going to put together would be uh, the type of questions that you would see on exams and are a great way to check for understanding. All right, so again, if you need help with uh, any of these topics, slopes or uh, slope or linear equations, check out the link to my algebra course in the description of this video. But uh, with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.